Hello, everyone. I'm happy to have the chance to talk about Python in GNU Linux distribution, like Debian, Ubuntu, and the derivatives. Super, super excited to be here. Thanks for the organizers of PyCon Apex 2022 prepared such a nice virtual venue here today. This is my self-introduction. I like nature, open source, and of course, Python. I have been contributing to Ubuntu for years as Ubuntu member. When I use my Ubuntu as my day machine every day, I'm always wondering how these applications I use every day are made. Most of them are made or delivered by Python. Python plays a critical role for most, for most modern GNU Linux distribution like Ubuntu. What role does Python actually play in a typical GNU Linux distribution? Before we dive into that, let's review a bit a famous essay published by Huido, GUIO. We all know Python is a glue language which glues different software components. Widow's essays elaborate the strengths of Python to glue the other software components via making extension modules. Apart from making extension modules, loading shared libraries subroutine di directly from Python is also possible. So writing an extension module is commonly seen. This is a typical and simplified stack of a GNU Linux distribution, as known as Linux distribution or distro in short. Take Debian Ubuntu as example, which their desktop versions are shown in the right hand side. The upper one is Ubuntu and the lower one is Debian. The lower part of the stack is what PAP 11 cares about. For example, the default the default C library is glibc, and the platform is Linux for x86-64. The combination of the C library and the platform fit the tier 1 support defined in PEP11. You can refer to PEP11 to see what support level of your distribution is. A case that the collaboration of a Python and a C library in your Linux distro matters is this example. If you pick up Alpine image as your Python Docker base image, you may be aware that the build speed is much slower than Debian base image. As of recording this video, it still takes me around 35 minutes to build a darker image shipped by Pandas installed from PyPI. Paps like a PAP 600s and PAP and PAP 656 are trying to resolve issues like this. The issue is caused by the combination of the Linux distro and the C library does not fit the Python wheel building policy when shipping via PyPI, and you need to build them on your local machine instead. If the corresponding binary wheel is built with PEP 656 and shipped it then by Python Packaging Authority, PyPA, form Python Package Index, PyPI, this issue could be resolved. That is said, well, I could not speak on behalf of PyPA, but a sponsor, a sponsor them may help. We will be benefit from those community efforts for such issues. Besides, now you can sponsor PyPA on GitHub directly. In the meantime, the term Gru language could also mean Gru the other components as a scripting language from Osterhaus dichotomy perspective. Many of you must have been familiar with the scenario if you have used Python for automation. By writing Python as typeless scripting language, 
your Python code is essentially grouping different software components like application binary or library, for example, to train your AI ML models or service provided by cloud native application, etc. From this point of view, Python plays the important role in the Linux distro because Python works as a scripting language to package all the components of an application or a library needs into a distro package. Distro packages are open to are important to the Linux distro, especially distros like Debian and Ubuntu, since they are essentially composed of a lot of packages. From kernel packages, see library packages, to packages of application for your day-to-day -day jobs. This kind of distro are aggregation of packages. Without a, without a powerful scripting language to glue all of these packages, it's hard to deliver such distro efficiently. We all know Python is well known, is well known for its development efficiency. What about pure Python package shipped in Linux distro? According to the note from 2021, Python language submit in PyCon US, there are around 20% packages in Debian shipped as Python. And Debian may be the largest integrated Python distribution on the earth, according to Debian Wiki. Let's look into them. First of all, let's look at side packages, which is proposed in PEP 370. Debian uses list packages instead of side packages for its system package manager, aka APT, to reduce the possibility that users make their own Python package installation conflicted to the system one. This 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 package is very specific to Debian and its derivatives like Ubuntu. Check whether your system and Python virtual environment uses these packages or side packages by invoking Python 3-M site. Take the Python 3 of Debian C release as, a, as an example. With the Python 3 installed, you can get it via Python 3 minimal package or via Python 3.4 with everything for the batteries included experience. The first thing we noticed is the Debian specific list packages path. And then we also see the C extension modules with the naming convention you can find in PEP 3149. Lastly, you can see the Python 3 is just a symbolic link of the target Python version, Python 3.10. Python 2 reach is end of life two years ago, and many leading distros undergo the transition of Python 2 to 3. So when using different Linux distro, the core Python package may mean Python 2 or Python 3 accordingly. In this case, Python is Python 3 package simply creates a symbolic thing to point the Python under being directly to Python 3 as system Python. How to share the Python packaging in the, in the Linux distro context? Knowing packaging Python projects is the first step. That said, get yourself a bit familiar with the standard of the PyPA and PyPI will help. For example, things like PEP 517 and PEP 518 with a tutorial of PyPA may also help. The background knowledge is, is a must to package a Python library application for Linux distribution. It's because many Linux distributions and to harmonize with the wider Python ecosystem. So they will obey the standard of the PyPA and PyPI as much as possible on top of their own system default packaging format like DEP or 
for RPM. Apart from the PyPA standards, Debian, Ubuntu, and their derivatives encourage package maintainers to make the packages to, by following Git-based workflow. Most of the Git-based workflow is provided by the tool Git Build Package GPP, which is also written in Python. By the way, the author of GPP is Guido as well, but it's another Guido, Guido Gunner. Take poultry package as an example. The right-hand side shows the branch convention for package maintainers to man manage a Python package. The package maintainer, maintainer maintains the code mainly in the branch of master or Debian slash master to contain the source code of the upstream and the corresponding packaging code. Upstream is for simply upstream code, and pristine tar is for holding the source release as a tuple by the upstream. So, are you interested in how many Python libraries or applications are essentially helping you every day in your Linux desktop? Try the following two comments and you will get some of them. Takeaways. Try to implement, implement some Python extension modules or Python bindings in the other language, especially C, if you are using C Python. This will help you if you get any error related to C library during troubleshooting. Look for more applications or libraries in your day-to-day -day life and see if they are written in Python. If yes, how? And try to package, in, package them for your Linux distro. You may want to meet more friends who are also interested in this topic. Try to reach out to them via these channels or community conferences. Perhaps during your afternoon tea time, if you are interested in more details, perhaps represent framework of thinking and text of design, Re reading them carefully for topics I care about does greatly help myself to understand my Python in my Linux distro much, much more ever than before. Thank you.